Hello, Graham. Lovely to speak to you again. Yeah. We, we, were, we met at the London Film Festival. Yeah. Well, that was a special night. It was a very special night. Very rainy, but very special nonetheless. Well, share with us what you're doing here this evening, because you actually must be very proud. I'm extremely proud. Um, our film, The Imitation Game, is nominated for four awards tonight at the British Independent Film Fil British Independent Film Awards. So, especially as an American, to get to come back to London um, uh, with under such auspices is just a tremendous honor. And we've got Benedict Cumberbatch up for Best Actor. When you saw him performing the words that you'd written, how must you have been? He is just, I've, I've never seen a performance like You know, it's amazing, and one of the great things about working with Benedict is he is sort of a constantly inventive actor. As a, His process is one of every take is different, every moment is different. He never does the same thing twice. You never know what he's going to do next. You can hand him a page of dialogue and you think, oh, I know how he's going to do that line. I know how he's going to read it. There's only one possible way to deliver it. And then he'll do 12 takes, each of them like nothing you would have imagined. Um, so it was it was just a tremendous learning experience for me. You know, It was my first film, and I, I feel like I learned so much from him about performance and how to write for performance and how to write for an actor of that caliber. And, and of course, can you share with us um, about Alan Turing and, and why he is so important to you that you felt the need to write his story? Um, yeah, you know, I think that Alan Turing's story is, is tremendously important. I think it's a story that not a lot of people know. Um, I think w our goal with this film was to get his story out there. You know, he was one of the great geniuses of the 20th century who uh, helped crack the German Enigma code, invent the computer, but all the while was persecuted by the government simply because he was a gay man. Um, and he was sort of written out of sort of popular narratives of the Second World War and of computer science so much because he was a gay man. And so our greatest hope with the film is that we could provide some sort of small historical corrective to that and to put his legacy back in the place that it deserves.